Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Zig. Make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. And the reason why I ask is because 80% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. It's just getting a little bit rude. <laughs> I just thought I'd come on here and introduce my video because I realized I hadn't done so. Today's video is going to be my current regimen as a straight haired natural. I say current because I'm learning something new every time I wash my hair so I'll make sure to update this in a couple months time. I'm also going to do more thorough detailed videos on how I blow dry and straighten my hair because otherwise this video would be even longer than it already is. My regimen starts from the night before. I hope you enjoy. So my hair needs washing but as you can see it's still pretty straight but what I'm gonna do is detangle and what I'm going to try and actually do this wash day is not detangle my hair when it's wet. Hair is so wet when it's fragile, which I've always known, but having type 4 really coily hair, you need like some type of product or moisture or water um, on your hair to detangle. But when I would do it, it was snap, crackle and pop city. Sorry, it's night time, so I might be quite quiet. Yeah, I just think now I'm a straight hair natural or I'm trying this new regimen that I would give this a go to just detangle whilst it's straight. I have just got this little pot here there's a little bit of coconut oil left in there um, so I'm just using that but I wouldn't necessarily always use that. So since I obviously am straightening my hair more regularly I want to make sure I'm still maintaining the integrity of my hair. So I'm using Olaplex number three, but then I'm also just gonna use um, Philip Kingsley's Elasticizer because I have some left. So I'm just literally gonna put it onto my dry hair. Now I have high porosity hair, so it's just gonna go <laughs> straight away. But if you have low porosity hair, you might want to spray your hair with a little bit of warm water to help lift and open that hair shaft. But I want it to kind of really bond and get into those parts of my hair and it's just going to soak it right up. Now something that I actually kind of reminded myself about when I was watching back my damaged hair recovery video was the fact that I would avoid braiding my hair because it was stretching my hair out. So typically I would just slather this on, put on a shower cap, go to bed and by the morning my hair will have started to revert and be all kind of curling lovely but because I actually am trying to get my hair to be straighter so that I don't have to use high heats and all of that I'm going to braid this into my hair and just try and keep my hair in braids during this regimen and see if that helps with the kind of smoothness do you know what I've noticed actually I say I say braid a lot I think I'm definitely influenced by kind of American subculture but really it's plaits it's plaits out here I'm just applying it straight to my hair really focusing on those ends they're the oldest part they're the part that I'm trying to retain they're the part that's going to be the weakest and therefore the most affected by the heat that I use on my hair <laughs> Is concerned I use my own oil mix I have to incorporate it in this pre shampoo treatment and what I'd really love to do actually is you know formulate this properly so that I can perhaps sell it because I do really want to start my own hair care business so that's something that might be in the works who knows Straight down scalp. I'm just going to use my fingers. You can see how loose the braids are and how nicely my scalp is moving. Just massage that into the scalp, really nourish it. Get a shower cap. Tuck all of these braids in just a regular degular bonnet typically i would sleep on a satin pillowcase apart from wash days put this on just so it can 
stay nice and secure and it's the only uh, reason I like this style of bonnet because usually I'd hate this because I feel like it rubs away at your hairline however because I've got all of this product and stuff on my hair I feel like this acts as a nice little trap that is it and I I rustle 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 as I toss and turn in my sleep that is step one I will see you tomorrow morning so we've got a nice bit of steam and everything on my scalp and you can see look how much it's shrunk just to make it easier on myself um i'm going to show you all of the products that i'm using first i don't have a shampoo that i'm absolutely like yes i've just tried a bunch of different things so in today's wash i'm going to use the ogx restoring and bonding plex shampoo it's sulfate free contains vegetable proteins my first condition Yes, my first condition is going to be the Joyco K Pack Deep Penetrating Reconstructor. And then I'm going to follow up with a moisturizing conditioner. But you want to make sure your hair doesn't try and seek moisture from the atmosphere. That's what causes it to frizz up. So, especially having high porosity hair, I want to make sure everything's nice and balanced in my hair shaft. So, I'm using the As I Am Hydration Elation. Uh, deep conditioner because this is protein free. <laughs> sorry for the awful lighting and I swear this video is like an episode of location location location. I am now going to spray it down with or I'm going to spray each section and blow dry with Affigy's Keratin and Green Tea Reconstructor Reconstructor microfiber towel on but the one that I truly 10 out of 10 recommend is the Aquis hair towels. Now there are no, there is just no sugar coating this twaddle because when people come on here and they try and justify stuff like this, it's like, it just doesn't work, okay? Um, I'm gonna blow dry my hair using the Rev Air. It's expensive, point blank period. You could buy a bike instead of this, you know? It's expensive. However, it's bloody amazing, but it is so, so good for all all hair textures and hair types. It gets the ends of my hair super straight. It's incredible. Um, a faux pay was kind of leading the charge for us type four girls at the showcase last year when I got to like see it in action and try it on my hair. I'll leave her channel down below for you. And she also demonstrated to us how even at the highest heat, the internal temperature does not go above 50 degrees Celsius. So compared to all your other hair dryers, it's so safe, so gentle, gets it super straight. It's basically the tension method on a really, really gentle way of doing it. Brushes, combs, none of that. It's just bloody fantastic. If you have the money to buy Reve, is what I'm saying, buy it. If you don't, make sure you have a hairdryer that has at least two to three heat settings and two to three speeds on it and also try to find one that is termaline. That's a lot better in terms of the distribution of heat. So yeah, I didn't wanna try and come on here and be like, you know, if everyone just asks for it for Christmas. No, it's expensive, but it really, oh, nothing compares. And you will see within that braid, or plat, within that plat, I've broken down the sections and I'm working one section at a time. Be quite generous with this. I love that this is a 
fine mist and I'm going to actually use my Rev Air on the low heat setting, the kind of warm setting. What I focus on is the tension, so I turn it up all the way to seven, baby, so it gets it nice and pulled smooth and straight, but I'm just gonna use it on the lower heat setting. <laughs> Sorry about the awful back exposure, but you can just see ends of my hair nice and straight, no kinks to it. I'm just gonna do that all the way over my head. I'll probably just come back when I've done it so that this video is not super duper long for you. Okay, this is what my hair looks like all fully blown out. I'm really sorry about the backlight, so I'm just gonna include a clip with front facing lights so that you can get a sense of what my hair looks like. Now I'm going to uh, resection off my hair. And for each section, I'm going to use a full pump of John Frieda's Frizz Ease Serum. And this is what's gonna protect my hair against the heat, also against humidity and reversion, keep it nice and smooth. I've got my hair straighteners. I'm gonna put them up to 190 degrees Celsius. I don't really like these hair straighteners, but they, they'll do the job. I hit the roots twice, two or three times actually. Clamping, unclamping. But I just do one pass on the length of my hair. That is it with the comb chase method. That's all I do the roots a couple times to get that nice and smooth. One pass and it's a steady pass along the length of my hair. I do not open or close. <laughs> That's one section done. You can see, nice and smooth. Um, but just compared to this side, that's still got more texture after the blowout. Got a wild Alex in the background, um, but I have finished straightening my hair. So that's that, but what I'm going to do now is I have turned the heat down to 150 and I'm just going to take out the perimeter of my hair and I'm just going to straighten the hairline. So a couple of passes. Again, I don't care to have my edges super straight, but I know some people do. Anyway, a couple of passes. I hope it doesn't go dark. You can see, that's what it looks like from the side. And this is what it looks like on the back. Hope you can see that. My hair um, is fine. I have fine strands. I just have quite a lot of them. So, and that's always been the case. So that's it, that is how I currently straighten my hair and wear my hair straight uh, for two to three weeks at a time. And yes, if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.